my YouTube channel, show it here again. And today we're going to be doing yet another wig review and demo. And this wig review and demo is brought to you by Love Me Hair. So they were kind enough to send me this bang unit, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm putting right here on the side the name and the details so you guys can see and stuff. But yeah, they were kind enough to send me this wig. And I was really, really excited because... I really wanted a bang wig, especially because fall is approaching and I feel like it would be the perfect time. So this is the wig right here. This is what it looks like. And I decided to just do a talk through demo since it's just a bang um, wig. So it's not like super hard. I don't have to do a whole bunch of stuff to it. Um, and of course, y'all already know, love me wig, always love me. Love me hair always um, sends me the bag of goodies right here, which um you get a scarf in here and i'm gonna show you guys so you get this little pouch and you get a scarf for up here in the front you get a comb you get some bobby pins a little love me pin which i think these are super super cute i have like a bunch of these already you get an extra band for the inside of the cap and you also get some tweezers. Also, of course, I can always appreciate that although I already have a wig cap on, they always send you wig caps in there. So I love the box. I love how it's decorated and everything. And it's just really, really luxurious. Another thing is your hair comes in this beautiful purple pouch. So it's nice and protected and stuff and all of that. So with bang, human hair wigs like when you first get them you have to tend not to get scared because i know that a lot of times when you first get them they look a little crazy like oh yeah oh yeah ha hold up so i'm gonna go ahead and plop this on being that i already have my wig caps on and i do have three wig caps on because you guys if you know me you know my hair is super duper long so um yeah so you also do get a lace right here in the front and i could appreciate that there's some sort of lace here as well um so that you can kind of just style the hair how you want to so this is what it's looking like it has a nice beautiful parting space right there and i just think it's absolutely gorgeous however i do feel like they could have done a little bit of a better job with the blending of the um of the roots because i feel like the roots are a little too choppy like it's not like perfectly blended but i'm going to do something on the wig so that that doesn't look as bad so i'm gonna go ahead and put it on and i will tell you the cap size is pretty normal i'm not gonna say it's small headed if you are small headed i would definitely suggest adjusting the straps um i tried to do that but my straps ended up snapping off because I have so much hair underneath so yeah so right now it's just like a comfortable fit which is it's cool it is what it is um because i don't believe that this is going to be sliding back so i am going to put my combs on instead of gluing it but you could go ahead and glue this unit if you feel like it just because you get that extra lace up here in the front which i'm about to cut off in a second but i want you guys to see um, what I mean, I did do a little bit of fixing to the color, but I'm going to go ahead and add some more and I'm going to show you guys what I did when it comes to that choppiness. Cause as you can see, like right here, that's when it looks, that's where it looks the most choppiest. And I'm just not like a fan of that looking like that. Let me actually turn my brightness off. Cause I'm just... so you guys, this is what it looks like. All right. This is the device that I got right here. And this is pretty much from Love Me Hair as well. So it's a curling iron as you can see, but the inside is like a flat surface. So you can use it as a flat iron. And then um, if you press this, I believe, is it this button up here? I forgot which one it is, but if you switch, there's a little switch up here. And if you switch it up, it switches into the crimper. So as you guys can see, there's a crimper right there. So I think that's pretty cool. But I'm gonna go ahead and use the flat iron side. 
and I would definitely advise that you do that before actually um, before actually using the device because you don't want it to get hot in your hands obviously or burn your face or burn your hands while you're trying to mess with the switch so the hair texture is really really soft um i would wish that the um that the hair would be a little bit more dense being that it is a bang unit so i do wish that it was a little bit more dense but other than that the hair texture is really soft it's very manageable really easy to work with um i haven't gotten any tangling or anything and if you are wondering, it is a human hair wig. So you could go ahead and color it if you want to. Um, say if you probably want to tone the um, blonde or anything, you could go ahead and do that. But I've never had like blonde, like completely blonde hair. Like I've had blonde highlights and bangs, but I've never had like complete, a complete blonde, um, bang hairstyle so to me it's a little it's a little different it's a little bit different i'm like getting used to it it kind of reminds me a little bit of hannah montana i'm not gonna lie to y'all so i don't know but i do love the dimensions of the blonde like the blonde kind of has a hint of pink in it which i think it's pretty because it makes um the style look a little bit more edgy but I will say if there's one thing that I could correct about that the color is just the choppiness of the roof. I feel like the roof could have been done a little bit more neat, in my opinion. See, so if I wanted to, I can curl it in, which I'm not gonna wear like this because I don't like bangs in that style. But I'm just gonna slightly curve it in. Like it's not gonna be all the way curves in it's just right at the ends if that makes sense and i also feel like with the bangs when they did cut it um i think that it should have been a little bit layered right here in the front that's just my opinion but i just feel like it could have been layered right there in the front you could go ahead and glue this unit on if you want to right here in the front just for more security but I personally, I'm not going to do that. The wig does have, um, it does have some, what's that called? It does have uh, some combs in it. So I don't feel the need to do that. But what I will fix is definitely this color because the choppiness of the roots is like really throwing me off a little bit. And I just, I'm not a fan of it. So I'm just getting rid of any bumpiness any um flyaways and then we're gonna get to these roots and we're gonna figure out we're gonna get a little creative um i don't have the product that you would probably need for this but you know you got to improvise you got to find a way especially with beauty you can always find a way trust me like there's always a way so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm going to get my tardis palette from tarte and I'm gonna use the black eyeshadow in here, which is right here. I'm gonna use that. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go where I see the choppiness and I'm gonna go in with the black to kind of fade it into the blonde a little bit more so that it doesn't look as choppy. If that makes sense. And I've definitely done this with other units. Like say if I wanted to kind of darken the roots a little bit more um see like right here you guys see that right there I'm, i want to fade that a little bit more i want to add a little bit more black up there because i feel like it's gonna look a little bit more um more blended in my opinion i just feel like they could have they could have blended the color a little bit better it's looking a little bit better than it did before, honestly. I like it a lot better now.
could even grab a little bit of brown powder to make it look a little bit smoother. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab um, this color right here. It's called Smoked. And it's a little bit more of a darker brown. So I just feel like that's going to kind of uh, create a smoother transition. So you see, guys, that already looks way better already. I feel like that looks way better already. We just got to be careful because, look, my hands... I got some eyeshadow on my hands, so that's the only thing. And I'm just going to comb through it to kind of spread the color down a little. Comb through it. Ooh, not the bang yet. All right, guys. So let me give you a 360. The hair is about 18 inches, so it does touch my boobs, as you guys can see. I feel like it's a great length, especially because I'm not really one to like a lot of um, hair as much. Like, I'm not really crazy about super long um, wigs just because my hair itself is already really long. So I think 18 inches is a great, great length for this wig. Let me know my suggestion was helpful although it wasn't a pro suggestion or anything it was just you know a little something to help y'all out let me know what you guys think it's a little bit different um because of the color but i think it's cute it's workable if you feel like the color is too light you could always darken it a little bit you can always add some color to it um but other than that i think it's really really nice i did get a little bit of shedding if you guys are wondering i did get some shedding but the tangling not at all look at how smooth this hair is it was definitely easy to work with and even the bangs like the bangs were very flimsy and really frizzy when i first got it and it was just super easy to go ahead and run the flat iron on it so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below shout out to love me hair for sending me this way to review for you guys i appreciate you make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so and if you're new to my channel welcome to the family sis i will see you guys soon follow me on instagram at best. bye